चैप्टर इलेवन शार्प शूटर ग्रैंड मार्स ऑफ जोरी इट इज नॉट अ डेटरेंट टू लर्निंग नॉर एन ऑब्स्टिकल इन द ट्रेजेक्ट्री ऑफ वन ड्रीम्स चंद्रो तोमर मेड अ पावरफुल स्टेटमेंट बाय दिस स्पेलिंग मिथ्स अबाउट एज एंड जेंडर बीइंग अ बैरियर टू एडवांसमेंट एंड बाय ब्रेकिंग द ग्लास सीलिंग टू विन ओवर ट्वेंटी नेशनल चैंपियनशिप्स इन प्रोफेशनल शार्प शूटिंग Hailing from Jauri village in Uttar Pradesh, she raised six children and has fifteen grandchildren. This is not a story of one, but many other female sharpshooters from the same Tomar family and others whom they have inspired. The fame collectively garnered by their family makes them as illustrious as a great banyan tree. Three brothers, Jay, Bhor, and Atal Singh, married Prakashi. Chandra and Prasundi respectively three of her grandchildren are professional shooters including Shefali an international trap shooter Prakashi Tomar Chandra Tomar's co-sister is the other sharp shooter dadi how it all began when chandra was 65 she heard about the news shooting range in their village and thought it would be fun to enroll her granddaughter Shefali She had never touched a gun before. When an instructor asked Shefali to load a gun, Chandra, by way of helping her, loaded it expertly and found herself saying, "Watch." Next thing Ban knew, she was standing erect, took aim and hit a perfect bullseye. Jaws dropped. Some clapped. Some whistled low, and some just stared at her gungat, her lehenga. the crinkled smile and a steady hand holding a pistol like a boss it was electric she recalls that moment hooked her for life she would go to range secretly lying to her family that she was out on household chores she was good at shooting that some of the men stopped turning up altogether to avoid being humiliated by an old woman she has the ultimate skill a steady hand and a sharp eye claimed the coach in an interview the daily mail quoted her as saying i wanted to do something useful with my life and show people my capabilities a national treasure known throughout india for her skill chandra tomar also won gold at the veteran shooting championship held in chennai she believed that there were no disadvantages to her age and that one can achieve anything with consistent focus Within weeks of Chandra joining the shooting training, Prakashi Tomar, her co-sister, followed her to the range. She too proved a natural. Her first shot was also a bullseye. The dadis would stay up at night holding a jug of water to build strength in their wrists and control even the smallest tremor in their hands. They would take before dawn and wash the buffaloes. earlier than usual to free up their day for shooting at the range the tomar dadis were sight to watch the men laughed with jibes about them going to kargil to fight a war dadi don't listen to anybody just keep practicing you can both win medals in the veteran category their 25 year old coach farooq pathan egged them on The long practice session require a firm grip, steady hand and a calm mind. No easy feat, reminds Prakashi. The women proved their mettle by winning rare accolades. It was also a war they fought against patriarchy. In 2000, Prakashi made headlines in the regional and national media as the first woman to win a UP state gold medal in veteran category, beating a deputy superintendent of police in the process. the police officer in deep embarrassment had refused to be photographed with prakashi women empowerment is required in rural india by choosing this unique sport difficult for our conservative society to accept i fought for it prakashi told a large audience at the shift series event closed it conversations let's start talking again a conference of women change makers held in new delhi the shooting initiative In the midst of the vast stretches of sugarcane fields in Jauri stands the Jauri Rifle Association that has produced the likes of Chandra and Prakashi Tomar. When a reporter from the Hindu went to visit it, he saw about 20 girls and a few boys at practice. 
the air was still with sweaty concentration and shots rang in steady succession the sound bouncing off the green walls Johri's 10 meter shooting range has 30 lanes allowing 30 shooters to practice simultaneously at any given time the shooter mostly teenagers as young as 12 stood sideways with their head turned over their right shoulder to face the target fingers gripping the pistol they raise their hands in a slow arc until the arm is at a 90 degree angle of the body some had an eye patch on their left eye for added concentration steadiness is everything the 0.177 caliber air pistols are loaded with 4.5 mm pellets one at a time these cannot kill but can injure enough to necessitate surgery At just about half a kilo the pistols are lighter than they appear the association currently has 65 members half of them girls over the years the range has become a mecca of sorts for women shooters with many coming from as far as bihar at first the parents hesitated to send their girls but now shooting has fetched our girls that finance homes and their brothers weddings says dr rajpal singh who founded the association in 1988 singh was a senior research fellow at aims delhi before he learned air pistol shooting in 1985 and participated in international tournaments he donated a part of his land and used his prize money to build the range in johri back then like many parts of western up johri was in famous for its high crime rates and violence No girls stepped out of home except to go to school. After sunset, women remained locked indoors. There were decoits, robbers and gun-wielding trigger happy youth on the prowl. Singh then had an idea. If the youth loved guns, why not introduce them to a legitimate sport that reaches them the rules of the game and earns them a gun license in the bargain? He successfully managed to channel their energies from crime into responsible hobby. Today, more than 500 girls who trained at his range have found jobs in the army, navy, air force or as bodyguards and coaches in sports academics. Heads of states invite Singh to replicate his venture across the country. He has held camps in Bikaner, Jodhpur, Jaipur, Alwar, Nalanda, Tinsukia, Assam and Agartala, Tripura among other places. But he recalls a time not so long ago when he had to go from door to door to persuade girls to join the shooting camp. Dadi Chandra was very instrumental in getting the girls out of their homes. He says, "The achievement of the dadis proved transformative for Juhi." Due to the dadis families felt safe and relented when their daughters asked to join the association the publicly they get still motivates johri's youth says neetu sheron the only sports authority of india sai coach at the johri range since 2007 hina ali a keen shooter had won five medals including two up state level by the time she was 14 years old I fought with my parents to get here. Today they are proud. She smiles. Kajal hailing from Baroth started training at the age of 17. Then a first year BA student, Yuvika Tomar, who belongs to a neighboring village, began training before she was 15. I want to get out of the village. Shooting is the doorway to the world outside. It has given me so much self-confidence. She says, the changing landscape of Johri Chandra and Prakashi's achievements not only unleashed for them instant fame and stardom but also triggered a change in the entire village of Johri and its neighboring areas. The women blazed through their shooting careers and grew financially independent though their men could not fully reconcile themselves to the change. Now, almost every third member in their families is a professional shooter. The social landscape of Johri is changing with a great number of female sharpshooters training and getting scholarships and jobs to become financially independent. A lot of criticism had to be quoted by the pioneers. 
चंद्रो एंड प्राकशी तोमर बोथ दे प्रिजर्व टू स्केल अनप्रेसिडेंटेड हाइट ऑफ सक्सेस एंड विल ऑलवेज रिमेन इंस्पायरिंग फिगर्स टू कमिंग जेनरेशन In April 2021, Chandra Tomar died from brain hemorrhage at the age of 90 years. Shortly before her death, her children and grandchildren fulfilled one of her dreams by building an indoor shooting range for underprivileged children in a section of their home. Dadi was happiest when she was teaching a new generation and firing at targets, said Mr. Rathi, Chef Ali's husband, and we plan to continue her life mission. Sports is a way of celebrating perseverance and effort respective of one's age, gender, social and economic background.